Biters. Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are doing Whataburger. We were requested to do this video from Jazzy for sure. Whataburger has a new um, Pico de Gallo burger, y'all. Okay. Pico de Gallo. So it has two patties on here. Um, it, there's Pico de Gallo and ooh, what kind of sauce is that? It might be mayonnaise, y'all. Um, and it looks like, what kind of cheese is that? What kind of cheese is white cheese? I mean, it could be I'll put it right here what kind of cheese that is. Anyway, and I have their cranberry and apple, I believe, salad. Cranberry and apple. Yeah, this is my first time trying this, y'all. It looked really, really good. And what'd you get? Yo, I got my favorite burger. This is the Murder Show Burger. If you want to eat a burger like me, then get you a double burger with no cheese. Just mustard, lettuce. To pickles and jalapenos. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, and y'all, they also have a new shake, a Dr. Pepper shake. And this is for a limited time, and so is this burger, y'all. So we're gonna be trying both of those today. <clears throat> and of course, we have the coldest water bottle in the building. Yes, we do. <laughs> Link in the description box if you'd like to get your own. <clears throat> Use code YUMMY for 10% off your entire order. All right, let's go. Uh, God is great, God is good. Let's thank him for this food and pray that it's blessed as well as the whole wide world. Amen. Amen. All right, let's taste this burger, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus, I hope it's good. Okay, I'm gonna taste it without ketchup, okay? For the first bite. I don't eat pico de gallo or cheese on my burger, so you know. I ain't gonna be able to fool with it. Mm. That's how I get it. I need one more bite. Hmm. I like it. Um Mmm. I like it. It's not better than the classic, but this is good. I need to find out what this sauce is. I believe it's mayonnaise, but I'm not sure. Um, the pico de gallo. Oh yes, I can taste it. I can taste a little bit of cilantro too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's good. I like it. Mm. This is everything you don't like. What you mean? Your cheese? Mano. It's just mano. <clears throat> and pico de gallo. He can't stand pico de gallo. Shout out to the yummy bites that I saw at Whataburger. Shout out to y'all, y'all are so sweet. Mm. And they have water in here, y'all. All right. So I got the balsamic vinaigrette for this salad. So hopefully it's good. I told them fried chicken. This is, is this fried? This ain't fried. Maybe I didn't eat fried, how about that? Oh wow, that chicken good, oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. It has cranberries in here. Cheese, apples, chicken. Mmm. This is delicious. Y'all let us know what y'all eating with us today. 
Let's try this. Delicious. Want to try this? Mm. Why? So they don't know your opinion on the shape. They might want to know your opinion on, on this. What is because Dr. you can't give your opinion on this. What is it? Dr. Pepper and what? Dr. Pepper <clears throat> shake. And what, ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember I got food in my mouth. Um, i never been a huge Dr. Pepper fan. It was always a weird taste to me. Like, what is this trying really? to do? Yeah. Wasn't it weird to you? Like, because all other sodas besides Coke, you know, you could put, like, you know, grape, orange, strawberry, you know. Mm -hmm. But then you get to cut flavors like Coke, root beer. Where do you get root beer from? That's Where do they get Mr. Pibb? Mr. Pibb is a fake what? Dr. Pepper? No, it's not. Mr. Pibb is a fake something. It's either you Dr. <laughs> It's either a fake Dr. Pepper or, um, uh, <clears throat> it is. No, it's not. Mr. Pibb is Mr. Pibb. Well, okay. I take it back. But it's the same kind of flavor, you know what I'm saying? Just like yeah, Pepsi and Sprite is. is the same thing. Yeah. But what is that flavor? I wonder where they based it, where they mixed it. Wouldn't they mix together to make Dr. Pepper? Who came first? Sprite or 7-Up? Do you know? Probably 7-Up. <laughs> what? I don't I'm think so. Who got a phone around? Google it. Yeah. I actually have it right here. <laughs> you see? Look at that. Why? Why my stuff be coming up like that? Okay, why are you on this old phone with the finger uh, red stretch? You should be using your there. face. I didn't want to you, use my phone. I don't even know how to use this phone. It doesn't work like mine. I know you did not. Don't no, I'm trying to try and be bougie you know because you done got I'm a not being bougie, here. but I'm just saying, I don't know how this works. <laughs> Y'all, this is my old phone. I have a phone just like his, but it's not. Who came first, Sprite or 7-Up? It's not on right now. I said who came first. It needs first. a SIM card. That's the problem. Sprite was introduced to the market in 1961, whereas 7-Up was introduced to the market in 1929. I could have swore you said 7-Up came first. I did. Seven oh, up. what does it say? Do you listen? No, I didn't. Sprite was introduced in 1961. 7-Up oh, okay. was introduced okay. in 1929. Okay. Oh. I'm one with the universe. Well, who was, who, well, we know Coke was first. Um, who else? Um. Oh, Dr. Do Dr. Which Pepper came first, head? Dr. Pepper or Mr. Pip? Mm. Cause somebody copying somebody, Dr. Pepper and Mr. Pip. I'm gonna tell you right now, Mr. Pip came first, cause Doctor come try to outdo Mr. Pip with Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. The more bites I take, y'all. Oh my God. Y'all have to try this. This is really, really good. Wow. Uh oh, I was right. Wow. First introduced as Peppo to compete against Dr. Pepper. I told you it was Peppo? a fake Dr. Pepper. It's a fake really? Dr. Pepper. The name was changed to Mr. Pib after Dr. Pepper sued the Coca-Cola Company for trademark kidding? infringement. Whoa! The original oh, test markets for Mr. Pib were located wow. in Waco, Texas. Wow. The birthplace of Dr. Pepper. Oh my God. What? Before wow. the company moved to Dallas, Texas. They sued Coke. I wonder how much they had to pay out. Ooh, is that on there? What flavor is Dr. Pepper? <laughs> I'm trying, I want to get to the bottom of this. I don't think that's the right question. Yeah, what is Dr. Pepper supposed to taste like? Here we go. A soft drink that's been around since the late 19th century comes in a variety of flavors. Oh, come on, bye bye. It has a deep, bold flavor. It's spiced with what tastes like a combination of allspice, mint, and faint licorice. The hell? First of all, it don't taste nothing like none of that. Now, you'd be surprised when you mix stuff together, huh? you know? That's a bad explanation. Like, I wouldn't even want to try that. But most obvious are its darker fruit elements. You'll get cherries, prunes, and plum jam, 
but taste testers have reported anything from apricots to citrus. Cherries. I can see that. Dr. Pepper is weird, bro. A lot of folks contend that Dr. Pepper is like Coke, but spicier. When we say spicier, we don't mean hot. We mean sharper with a richer diversity of spices. <clears throat> Boy, that's a mad concoction. Okay, closer to the Coke Cherry. Cherry Coke. Or cherry, whatever. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does Dr. Pepper taste like medicine? What? You could say that, but only in the same way you could say cherry flavored Coke and cherry candies taste like medicine. Okay, well let's let's get into this. I love cherry flavor, period. Cherry is good. Is this lipstick on the straw? Yes, it is. I don't really get the Dr. Pepper taste. It's a cool little drink, but. I can taste it. Kind of faint. It tastes more like um, ice cream. It's cool though. <sighs> Nothing like a good Sprite with no ice. Give me all that drink. Oh man, is this not the phone that I had um, before? Oh well. I was looking for some of y'all on my phone. It's on my other phone, not this one. What, them questions? Mm-hmm. Look it up on there. I can't remember which one it was. I looked up. There's plenty of actual with questions on it. I got a question for y'all. I know you heard Kanye West say he was running for president. If what? he was serious, you didn't hear that he tweeted it. Is that what everybody was talking about? Cause I was like, who are they talking about? Cause nobody would say uh, their name, you know, their name and who, Kanye. who it was. Kanye. Somebody put a poll up on Twitter and uh, you know, had Kanye named Trump and Biden. And Kanye, it was like half a million votes. Kanye was 50%. What? Biden was at uh, 35, Trump was at 15, something like that. Well, they were saying it also just, that it's too late to even try to run. Yeah, I heard that. That would be a shame, but... Uh, if, Is that true? I don't know. I don't know. Would y'all vote for what? Kanye? Would y'all vote for Kanye? Some people think Kanye crazy. They're like, oh, no, oh my God, not Kanye. You know. Hell yeah, I would vote for Kanye. Kanye got some sense on him. He know how to sit down with his enemy and try to, you know what I'm saying? on a friendly gesture and like, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's, if you got an enemy in the world, like people look at Donald Trump as the enemy and they're like, oh, how, how dare you sit down with Donald Trump and all of that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know how to sit down with your enemies and then maybe your enemies can become your friends or at least not be your enemies no more. Yeah. Love is always the best way. Right. Coming together is the way, you know what I'm saying? That was Christ-like what he did. But people don't get that. They don't understand that, you know what I'm saying? Cause they bots. Kanye is a genius, you know what I'm saying? He sound like what's his name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like I think it gets it gets me angry. You talking about spiritual soul? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like little, just like little computer <laughs> programmed little just automatons. They just you know they can't uh -huh. even wake up. They like automatons. Yeah, just like okay. a, just like a robotic person. Like you just caught up in the matrix. You can't even step out and overstand and think and get what's going on. You know you can't. You always. You look at Kanye and be mad because he with Trump. Like what I just, how I just broke it down. Is he a Democrat? You weren't able to think like that. Is he a Democrat? Who? Kanye. Well, I don't know. Who cares? It's probably he's something new. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you know the Democratic Party was um, originally started by the Ku Klux Klan? No, no, no. It was originally started to white black people started the Republican Party. What? Yeah. They were the first Republicans. And then Democrats me? came in in opposition to that, and they the ones that actually formed and hired the Ku Klux Klan to uh to run all the Dem the Republicans, you know, scam out of even running or doing anything, basically like and basically enforced black people to vote 
uh, Democrat instead of Republican. Mm -hmm. They did it by, by, you know, scare tax with the Ku Klux Klan, with murder and stuff. What? That's how the Democratic Party was formed. And not to, to this day, black folks think that that's their party that they should be running with. Oh, my Cause God. Because this to show you the illusion of politics along with everything else that's going on in this world. What you think is, it ain't. It's really the opposite. Everything, everything people believe is false. It's fake. Everything is fake. Everything you've been taught is a lie. This, this, man, let me, wow. let me eat my burger. <laughs> Wow. Mm-hmm. Ain't that a song? What? When did you find that out? Well, it was recently. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of stuff I be watching. You know what I'm saying? People mm -hmm. be talking. Yeah. I need to get in on that good knowledge. Oh, that's Maya. Look, this is a Maya, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Why <are> you? <laughs> Hello, Maya. Maya, can I call you right back? We're filming a video right now. Where you at? But yeah, you just found out like, wow. Yep. We, we're going to start finding out a whole lot of stuff. People learning, people, you know, realizing things, and yeah. everybody's becoming woke. Exactly. It's what time we in. Like, in this universe, we live, the universe has cycles, just like we have cycles on Earth. Mm -hmm. There's cycles in the universe of negative times, dark times, mm -hmm. where the world is very negative, you know what I'm saying? And then there's times of enlightenment where people wise up and wake up and become, you know, uh, filled with more love than hate. Mm -hmm. We're just not leaving the dark phase into like resetting into a brand new phase and, and, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and it's in a more positive direction. It cycles, you know, it's, it's crazy. Man, this world is so deep. This, like, uh, our very existence and where we at and all of this, everything is so deep and man, this is unreal. Like when you get down to the science of what's mm -hmm. going on. Somebody um, said in the comments, something's going on in China. But the, um, let me see, did I? I screenshot it, but I don't know if it's on this phone or not. Nope, it's not on this phone. Um, somebody, did you hear, hear anything about, um, China some type of, I think it's called a black, a blackout or something, or? Did you hear about that? Mm-mm. What is, what are they talking about? Guess who's gonna look it up? <laughs> China, um, is it plague? Is that what's going on? I think I heard about another virus strain or something over there. In China? Yeah, wasn't it something with the pigs or something? <clears throat> Black plague. That must be what this is. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Bubonic plague is diagnosed in China. Excuse the bubonic me. plague yes. then came back? You are kidding me, bro. I remember that from when I was going Say, up. man, the bubonic plague killed so many people. Hold on. Yeah. What? Bubonic plague found in a herder in Inner Mongolia, China says. Oh, my God. A city put control measures in place after one confirmed case of the disease, which caused the Black Death in the Middle Ages. A herdsman in the Chinese region of Inner Mongolia was confirmed to be infected with bubonic plague. Health officials said a reminder of how even as the world battles a pandemic caused by a novel virus, old threats remain. Uh. What? The Bible says it's gonna be plagues, baby. They it sure did. Ooh, the uh, Bayaner City Health Commission said the plague was diagnosed in the herdsman on Sunday, and he was in a stable condition. He was in a stable condition, undergoing treatment at a hospital. The commission also issued a third-level alert the second lowest in a four-level system. 
warning people against hunting, eating, or trans or transporting potentially infected animals, particularly marmots, and to report any dead or deceased rodents. Wow. Okay, so I barely remember the the bubonic plague. Like I barely remember the. Do you remember? I think they called it the Black Death. That, yeah, that's what they just said. It killed millions and millions of people. But what was it? Was it? Is it a flu? What is it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we have gnats. I don't know what to call it. You know how to break it down, trying to tell it on a ripple tail like that, but. I think it was spread by fleas, the rats, what? the fleas on the rats. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it was a lot of rodents, you know. Mm -hmm. Wasn't like today where we got it kind of in check. Rats were just everywhere, you know. And they spread, the fleas on the rats spread it around. When was this, what year was this? Because I remember it when, back in the day. What year was it? Well, we have the internet. Yeah, at least a hundred years ago. Was it? Yeah, not more than that. What year was the bonnet plague? Oh my gosh. 1347? Damn, is that for back? Wow. I'm talking about, I remember when I was, I, yeah, I probably just heard somebody talk about it. Probably in school. I just don't remember. The, the, the Black Death was a devastating global epidemic of bubonic plague that struck Europe and Asia in the mid-1300s. The plague arrived in Europe in October 1347 when 12 ships from the Black Sea docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. Okay. I still don't know what kind of disease it is, though. I'll look that up later. Wow. So now we done got struck with something else. Well, I mean, it's not here. So thank God for that. Pray yeah, for the COVID, people over there. Oh COVID God. wasn't here neither. And then three months later, pow. Mm. It's in your face. But see, now, well, see, people are allowed to travel now, right? And do all that. Somewhat. Some places I heard wasn't uh, wasn't allowing Americans. Jamaica. Because we not uh, you know, we out here running around foolish. Exactly. Compared to the rest of the world, stupid Americans. And the only reason they got it <laughs> in any of these islands is from us. That's a shame. Busy by the Americans. You can't sit still, can you? Can't sit still. Just gotta go spreading it to everybody. That was pretty doggone good. Yes, you got a job. Who, oh, mate? Mm -hmm. Where, where's she working at? I, mean, I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll tell you, but yeah, she got a job. And she's is it where Nicholas at? Oh, and then. Is it where Nicholas at? Um, I don't even know where Nicholas works. Okay. Wait a minute. No, it's not where Nicholas works. No. Right. Um, and she's going back to school. Same one? Yeah. What, She's when? going back. They caught the coach, um, they replaced the one that, you know, was there before when she was, when she was there. That that coach called her and said that he's interested in, in her and he's going to give her a scholarship. What? Yeah. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Wait, the coach, now what? The coach from what? The, her, the basketball coach. Her coach had got replaced by somebody else? Yes. And now the replacement is gone and he back in charge? What? Her coach the, got her, her, her coach from last year got replaced with somebody else. And for the next new year. coach wants to yes, give her a scholarship. Exactly. Oh, well, that's good. Yep. And she's so happy and I'm so proud. Oh my God. So proud. Because I thought she was done with school. You didn't think she was going to go back to school? No, I didn't think. She said she wasn't going back. She literally said that. Mm hmm. So. But I mean, when is they, who they got going back to school? Huh? When this is, see, that's why I was asking. I'm like, y'all about to start playing basketball and having basketball games? What's going? 
The NBA There's still don't people. play, huh? Nobody like sports teams not playing. No, but I've seen some um, basketball games though recently. People are playing. The the, the professional. I ain't talking about like no. I'm not talking about like. Oh, yeah, of course I'm these about about this. Yeah, they out here sweating, bumping into each other. Yeah, like <laughs> breathing on each other. <laughs> and I was like, y'all gonna be congregating and going back to school in the fall? She no said way. she didn't know. Yeah, that, that's that's a no go. So. I should not finna jump off. You know how bad it's gonna be? You see how it keep ramping up? You see how everything is remaining open and people still, and like everything is continuing to go on even though these numbers are ramping up? Mm -hmm. Bro, by the time the fall get here and then people really be getting sick mm -hmm. and then you know, that's when the flu and stuff really get passed around. I already, your girl who did the cards thing that I mm -hmm. showed you about? Yeah. yeah, she already done looked into it. It's kind of like, uh, in the fall it's gonna be crazy. Same. That's when we're really gonna have to stay in the house. We're gonna have to start. Oh, eating. yeah, the world going yeah, you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to stay in the house. It's gonna be bad. Like, it's gonna be really bad. That's why I say we gotta start stocking up now. Tremendous stockpile. Well, aren't, aren't they allowing you, like, to order water and stuff <clears> right <throat> now since it's not a big deal? I'm sure they are. So we need to go ahead and do that, huh? We need to go get it from Sam's. How are we gonna get it? With what? In, in the car, whatever. We could rent, no, we could rent a uh, moving truck and then go to Sam's and get, you know what I'm saying, you know, have five, six pallets of water or something. Because it's way cheaper if you pick it up yourself. First of all, <laughs> we will be going to, not Sam's, because I don't have a card there. And well, you we don't need we'll have to so. get one. What's wrong with Costco? They have water? I don't, they don't know if they have pallets of water like Sam's. Oh. So you get a pallet. I'm pretty sure they do. Costco is like Sam's, aren't they? Oh, we can don't Sam's own Costco or something? I don't know. So did you already have a Costco card? Mm hmm Yeah, I didn't see no pallets at Costco, I don't think. But you didn't we look. We can check. Did you? Yeah, I did. Remember oh. what I was looking for? <clears throat> anyway. Lord have mercy. So thumbs up for Mike getting a job. Like that's what she's always wanted is a job. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait to tell me where she's working, she working at. I cannot wait till she start working. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I cannot talk wait. Talk to her and, and talk to her after like two weeks. So how you like it? Okay. Uh, two months. Exactly what I'm I can't wait to hear. Oh my God, I'm no. so sick of going to work and ain't yeah. Watch how she be uploading and stuff. No. Watch that motivation, bro. <laughs> No, she don't motivation. act like she like it. Why? She not. Mm -mm. She don't act like she likes it. But she might like it though. I think she just might like it. You know what I'm saying? She gonna meet new people. You know, she hasn't been talking to anybody because of the quarantine. So now she's gonna be able to meet new people. Hopefully they don't be talking to each other face. Hopefully they do social distancing because I don't know how people social distance at work. Sometimes. How do you, you can't. do that? Sometimes you can't. Like. Man, I need to put some more water in here, y'all. Ooh, that's so good. Ooh, it's cold still. Anyway, so yeah, I'm done. Oh, y'all, go try this burger. It is delicious. <laughs> My first couple of bites, I guess I couldn't get the taste or the feeling, but this is bomb, y'all. It's bomb. Um, and this, like, I mean, it's, a Dr. Pepper shake. Like, you know, you can make it at home. It's good though. Anyway. Yeah, it's cool. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all are following me on my family blog channel at Yummy Bites TV behind the scenes and my Instagram at Yummy Bites TV. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Did you see what I was about to do? Thumbs up this video. <laughs> Calm down, just calm down. I am. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed this video, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. But everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, uh, uh. Hey, hey, uh, uh. And we will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. Not again, it's a red stick.